CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 171 through 175 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 171. A network technician is tasked with creating a wireless heat map to improve Wi-Fi coverage in a large office. The technician has already obtained a detailed floor layout of the building. Which of the following steps should be performed next to complete the heat map? The answer is C. Perform a site survey. A site survey involves assessing the physical environment to determine wireless signal coverage and identify potential interference. After obtaining a layout of the office, the next step is to walk through the space while measuring Wi-Fi signal strength to create a heat map. A heat map is a visual representation of signal strength across the surveyed area, using color gradients to indicate strong or weak coverage zones. This helps optimize access point placement and ensures consistent, reliable wireless connectivity throughout the workspace. Question 172. A security engineer is evaluating techniques to protect a newly released desktop application from being analyzed and copied by competitors. Which of the following methods should the engineer use to make the software harder to reverse engineer? The answer is B, performing code obfuscation. Code obfuscation is a technique that alters source or binary code to make it more difficult for attackers to understand while still preserving the software's functionality. This is commonly used to prevent reverse engineering by disguising logic, renaming variables, and modifying the code structure. While it does not make the code impossible to reverse engineer, it significantly increases the effort required. This makes it a valuable protection strategy for proprietary software. Question 173. A security analyst suspects that a workstation is involved in suspicious activity and must ensure it can no longer access any network resources. Which of the following should the analyst implement? The answer is C. Host isolation. Host isolation is a technique used to immediately separate a device from the rest of the network to prevent further communication or potential harm. This is especially important during an incident response investigation, where there is suspicion that a device may be compromised. By isolating the host, security teams can contain the threat, prevent lateral movement to other systems, and preserve forensic evidence for analysis. Host isolation can be enforced through endpoint protection platforms or manually by adjusting network access controls. Question 174. A security analyst is reviewing network logs and detects a system transmitting unencrypted data. Which of the following is most likely to transmit unencrypted network traffic? The answer is A. IoT. IoT devices are well known for weak or absent encryption, especially when using default configurations or low-cost hardware. Many such devices transmit data in plain text due to limited processing power, lack of updates, or poor security design. This makes them common sources of unencrypted traffic on a network. Question 175. During the vendor selection process, a project lead on the selection committee recommends a cybersecurity firm owned by their sibling. Other team members express concern about this recommendation and request additional review of the process. Which of the following best describes the reason for the raised concern? The answer is D. Conflict of interest. A conflict of interest arises when someone involved in a decision has a personal or financial state that could influence their judgment. In this case, the project lead recommending a firm owned by a family member raises concerns about fairness and objectivity. Identifying such conflicts is essential to maintaining integrity and impartiality in business decisions. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? 
Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.